guys, J Pops in the house, coming at you with another top 10 video, and today we have top 10 Stranger Things. Okay, so top 10 Stranger Things. As always, these are the top 10 in my collection. Let's get started with number 10. I do. What should I do? <sighs> Coming in at number 10, it's a very simple pop, but I think it's really awesome, and I think just the pop in general is awesome. It is Joyce. Now, this is common Joyce, just regular Joyce, like from the first wave, and she's got, um, she's holding the lights. This is why I like this pop so much, because I think it's just very Stranger Thingsy. When Will is missing, she goes crazy trying she thinks will is in the walls and he kind of is in the walls so she puts up all the lights she's talking to him through the walls and when the pop came out i just saw her holding the lights and i just thought immediately like oh my goodness stranger things the scene where that happened and everybody thought she was crazy but she was just trying to get her kid back and she wasn't playing any games so i think this pop is awesome she comes in at number 10. So coming in at number nine is Demogorgon. Now I remember when this pop first came out and I could not find it for the life of me because it just sold out. Um, but they have restocked it like everywhere. I think they did a really good job with this one making him look like he's kind of like a man creature. They made it look really creepy. Like he's got the big old toenails, which looks very like creature like. And then he's in, you know, human shape, but you can see his rib cage and the painting on it kind of gives it like the shades and the molding kind of got like little dents here and there. And it just like, they gave it, they did really good detailing the whole like human, but creature kind of mold going on there. And then his head, he's got kind of like, like a plant, um, where it opens up and you see kind of like the teeth on the plant, but I think they did a really good job with the Demogorgon. He comes in at number nine. It's your friend. It's Dustin. It's Dustin, right? You remember me? Really? Right when you let us pass? Okay. Alright, so coming in at number eight, is Dart. Now, we all love Dart, but he is a Demogorgon. He is like a baby Demogorgon, but Dart was kind of like Dustin's, him and Dustin had a bond. So you kind of like didn't really dislike Dart, but you knew he had to go. And the scene at the end, I was just so sad Dart left. But he's got the same thing going on. He's kind of like has the plant thing um, where it opens up and he's got like the teeth going on, on, you know, on the inside. They did a good job with him too, making him kind of man creature-ish but he's not just there yet. He hasn't like really transformed into the full Demogorgon. So he's kind of looking like a dog. They also did make like a little baby dart. So we kind of have all stages of dart. We have the little mini dart, we have this dart, and then we have the Demogorgon, you know, like all different stages of him. So that's dart. He comes in at number eight. I can just see like a whole bowl of nougat oh. straight up. <laughs> And you? Who screams like that? You sound like a little girl. <laughs> hey, that's coming or not? Ooh, I heard we should hit up Loch Nora. That's where the British people live, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so coming in at number seven is Max in her costume. Now this is a Hot Topic exclusive because the common one was just Max holding her skateboard, which I think is a really cool common pop too. Um, but this one, I just think it, it has a little more going on to it. Um, I like how they gave her the red chucks. She's holding her little pumpkin because this is the scene where they go trick-or-treating. She's got the knife in her hand, part of the costume. And then she has the Michael Myers mask pulled back over her head. I like how they gave her her freckles too. I think the freckles on the common pop are a little more red. I don't know. I think this is a little different. But I just think this one's cool. I like the whole concept to it, how she's got like a costume on, and but it's still her. And the scene was funny. So Max with her costume comes in at number seven.
All right, so coming in at number six is Hopper in his biohazard suit. Now this is a Hot Topic exclusive too. And they also do have, I have it here, they have Joyce in her biohazard suit and she's a Target exclusive. They're both kind of like the same, but Hopper has the gun and the backpack, you know, uh, whatever is on the suit. This is part of when they go down into the under, well, they don't go, they don't go into the upside down, do they go? They do go into the upside down through the gate. I can't, you know, you know what I'm talking about, but this is really cool too with the box they made the color of the upside down because that is where they kind of go to go through um so they did change the color of the artwork on the box which i think is really cool um and then the pop overall like i just think it's a dope pop and then joyce pretty much the same but she's holding a flashlight and um she's got her fist all clenched and i think she's holding like a gas mask on her belt like hopper has a belt but he doesn't have anything on it but Joyce, it looks like a gas mask. So Hopper in his biohazard suit comes in at number six. So coming in at number five is none other than Will himself, the one everybody was looking for. You didn't really see him in season one. You've seen him a couple, uh, a couple scenes, but this is the kid everybody was looking for. I like how he's got his like 80s jacket going on with his Adidas and they gave him the book bag too. I think this is what he um, looks like when he goes missing. He, this is what he was wearing uh, throughout the season. Um, he's got his little bowl haircut. You can see his ear through his hair, which I think is funny because it's the whole 80s bowl haircut. Um, but this is just simple pop, but it's Will and everybody was looking for him. And I just think it's a cool looking pop. He's got his jeans on. So that is Will coming in at number five. She's been acting weirder than Will. She can slam doors with her mind. She can definitely screw up a couple. Why would she do that? Because she's trying to sabotage our mission. Because she's a traitor. All right, guys. So coming in at number four is Lucas. Now, Lucas, I like how they gave him this whole outfit. The, this is the scene where um, he goes off and he's he means business. He doesn't he wants to know who's looking for who. Um, so he's got his binoculars. He's got his utility belt. He put on his bandana. He's got his blue book bag, his sneakers. It's just, it looks really cool. Um, I, they could have done something like way more simpler, but I like how they gave him like a lot of things going on. Um, he's got his fist clenched. Lucas' character at first kind of irked me. Um, it, like, did anybody else feel that? He was being a little bit of a brat, but he came around. So I think this pop is just really cool. I like his whole expression, like where he's just very like, he needs business. And it's just a really cool looking pop overall. So Lucas comes in at number four. I'm just saying, how do we know when we get to the gate? Uh, I think a portal to another dimension is going to be pretty obvious. Alright guys, so coming in at number three is Dustin. This guy is just funny. I chose classic Dustin, like the very first Dustin that came out because um, I just think it's very Stranger Thingsy. Like, I like how they gave him the compass. I like how he has his hat, the 80s hat going on. And all the Dustins, honestly, they all kind of look the same. Uh, they give him his hat. Like, he doesn't change much throughout the season. You do have like the Ghostbuster one and the Snowball Dance, but um, this one here, I just think it's classic. Very first season. It reminds you of Stranger Things when they're walking on the tracks and he's trying to like find the gate to the upside down he's got the compass in his hand he's got his book bag 80s hat he's just he's dustin he's funny he's a funny character he was kind of like the mediator between everybody making sure nobody fought and stuff um just a cool character cool pop very classic looking this one um so he comes in dustin at number three why did i hurt you what Oh, that, uh, I just fell at recess. Alright guys, so coming in at number two is, let's cover that one, Mike. Now this is part of a two-pack. These are commons, but I couldn't find the commons, so I ended up getting the two-pack, which is cool for me. Um, but it is Mike. I like how he's holding his walkie-talkie because like you remember him throughout season one just holding the walkie-talkie and talking to Lucas and Dustin. Um, he's got his book bag too and you see like his little Puma sneakers. His hair is all parted. It looks very much like Mike from season one. 
they even put like the freckles on his face. I think it's really cool. This is from the scene too where he's walking on the tracks with Eleven and Dustin and, and Lucas. But um, really cool pop. So he comes in at number two. What should we do? Uh, call the police. Excuse me, young lady. You know you have to pay for those. Hey, stop up. You have to pay for those. Stop right there. D. Coming in at number one, we're just gonna cover this guy. It is Eleven with Egos. This pop, this Eleven with Egos, no matter what other Eleven they make for me, this one will, I feel like, just be the best Eleven that they have made. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because it is very much, I keep saying it, but it is very Stranger Thingsy. Like, this is how I remember Eleven. She had her shaved head, the nosebleed, and she had Egos. I just think this pop is cool because she's got, this is when she was, um, the chase version to this is where she has the wig and they, they made her up so she's got kind of like the blush going on, she's got her dirty face because of, I think the fight right before that. Um, and then the nosebleed because she was trying to stop them from finding the gate so she still has like her dress on and then the 80s socks and the sneakers and she's holding the Eggo cart and the Eggo hand. There's just a lot going on with this pop um, that I think is really cool but very stranger thingsy and she even fights the demogorgon i believe in this outfit so i think that 11 with egos takes the number one spot for my stranger things collection and i think it's awesome all right guys so that does it that is my top 10 stranger things if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up if you guys have any top 10 video ideas drop a comment let me know i think my next one is going to be t uh television but this is kind of like television but it's the whole series um but i think that's the next one that i'm going to do if you guys have like favorite Stranger Things, drop a comment, let me know what they are. I know there's a new wave coming out, like this is what the fourth wave? I don't know, there's a lot of Stranger Things pops, but the new ones actually look really cool. Um, so anyway guys, I'm signing off, thanks for tuning in, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.